Hello all. Once again, welcome back to Resource Geography. Today, we are going to discuss marine resource with special emphasis on fishery as a major resource. In olden days, sea was considered to be a barren waste and prohibited place. But with the advancement of civilization, science and technology, we gradually realized the importance of sea as a storehouse of food, minerals, energy and various other necessities. So let's look into some of the economic significance of sea. Sea is an important source of food. It is a vital element of the human food supply. Fish accounts for nearly one-fifth of all the animal protein in the human diet. Sea can be considered as a storehouse of minerals. Due to the paucity of several minerals on earth, scientists are desperately looking for minerals under the abyss of sea. You can find these minerals both from the seawater and from the sea sands. According to the available estimate, one cubic kilometer of seawater contains approximately 120 million tons of salt. Besides these minerals, several nodules are also available from the sea floor. Sea sands are another important source of minerals. Monocyte, ilminite and zircon are now being extracted from the sea sands. Another important product commonly derived from the seawater is what we all know which is the common salt. Enormous amount of salt is produced from the seawater. Besides, the sea will provide important constructional materials like sand, cement building which are obtained from the ocean floor. Petroleum is one of the most important inanimate resources, perhaps the most popular and economically important one that has been explored from the sea floor. Sea is a source of energy too. It has been estimated that the sea can be considered as one of the greatest source of potential energy. If properly tapped, it could have provided 15% of the world energy demand from tidal power, ocean thermal energy conversion and from the ocean waves and bioconversion. Aquaculture is one of the most important topic that we all talk nowadays. When the demand for the seafood has increased, the technology has made it possible to grow food in the coastal marine waters and open ocean. Aquaculture is the method used to produce food and other commercial products, restore the habitat and replenish wild stocks and rebuild populations of threatened and endangered aquatic species. So what is aquaculture? Aquaculture is the breeding, raising and harvesting fish, shellfish and aquatic plants and other organisms and all types of water environment. Basically, the aquaculture farming is done in two major ways. That is the marine aquaculture and the freshwater aquaculture. Let's look into the status of aquaculture in 2020. As per the latest report of Food and Agricultural Organization on the status of world fisheries and aquaculture, it is revealed that 82.1 million tons of aquatic animals, 32.4 million tons of aquatic algae and 26,000 tons of ornamental seashells and pearls were produced through aquaculture. In 2018, the inland aquaculture produced around 51.3 million tons of aquatic animals, which accounts for 62.5% of the world's farmed food fish production. This refers to aquaculture produced either from the inland natural water source, such as rivers, lakes and fish farms. 
the major producing countries under this aquaculture are china india indonesia vietnam bangladesh egypt norway and chile these all have a very high share in regional or world production to varying degree over the past two decades so there has been a very high tremendous increase in the nature of fish production through aquaculture production in the last 50 years according to the habitat all the edible fishes are being categorized under two major groups the freshwater fish and the marine water fish the freshwater fish species are again subgrouped under two the inland water fish and the catadromous fish the inland water fish is a type of fish that is grown in ponds lakes rivers canals and you can even find in the paddy fields of southeast asia during the monsoon season the catadromous variety is a very rare type of fish group these type of fishes generally migrate from fresh water to marine saline water during the breeding time you can take the example of eel as a catadromous variety among the marine water fishes you can find three subgroups the pelagic the demersal and the anadromous the pelagic type of fishes are usually smaller in sizes their size generally ranges from 20 to 60 cm these type of fishes are obtained from shallow coastal areas the pelagic fish accounts for 80% of the world's total fish catch herring mackerel sardine are some of the examples of pelagic variety the demersal fish is comparatively larger usually the size is over 1 meter this is generally obtained at a depth of 200 meter and below major demersal variety species include cod haddock white fish tuna etc nearly 22% of the world's fish catch is of demersal variety anadromous fish is a another rare type of fish that predominantly lives in the shallow sea but these type of fishes migrate to the inland water river during the breeding time consider the example of salmon as a anadromous variety now let's look into the major fishing grounds of the world according to the location of the fishing grounds you can categorize into two broad groups the temperate fishing ground and the tropical fishing ground we can start with the major temperate fishing grounds of the world traditionally the temperate region is considered to be the most important fishing regions on the earth these regions have very good physical and geographical factors combined with socio economic factors for the development of fishing industry the five major temperate fishing grounds provide a bulk of marine fish catch in any region these regions are the northwest pacific region the northwest atlantic region the northeast atlantic the northeast pacific and the temperate fishing grounds of southern hemisphere we are going to discuss these regions in detail in the upcoming slides the northwest pacific the vast stretch of eurasian region comprising the countries like korea japan russia are traditionally major fishing producing regions at present these regions account for 16% of the total global fish catch the major fish species comprises of cod salmon tuna sardine mackerel and many others among the producing countries china is the largest producer 
in the world. Let's look into the major factors for the growth and development of fishing industry in North Pacific region. Wide expanse of continental shelf of Northwest Pacific, which is generally below 200 meters depth, is one major reason for the growth of fisheries. There is high presence of shallow water. Besides the confluence of warm Kuroisio current with cold Oeasio current leads to growth of abundant plankton. Large population of these regions and the absence of protein food is another major factor for the development of fishing industry. Besides the deposition of abandoned food sources by inland rivers like Hangho is being consumed by the fish. Northwest Atlantic region. It extends from Newfoundland in the north to New England in the south. This region accounts for 9% of the total global fish catch. The famous banks like Grand Bank, Gorgeous Bank are the major concentration of fishes. Both the pelagic and demersal varieties of fishes are available in this region. The major factors that are responsible for the growth of fishing industry in the region are the convergence of warm Gulf Stream with a cold Labrador current facilitates the growth of phytoplanktons. There is extensive and shallow continental shelf from Florida to Newfoundland. Several island rivers like St. Lawrence provide supply of fish food. The nearby coniferous forest provides wood at cheaper rate for the construction of fishing harbors. The Northeast Atlantic sequels the top position in the total global fish catch. The region accounts for 21% of the global fish catch. The region covers an area that extends from Iceland to the Mediterranean coast. Hence, this region is also known as Northwest European Zone. Following are some of the factors responsible for the growth of fishing in this region. The presence of extensive shallow continental shelf within 200 meter deep. The inland rivers like Rhine and Seine provides abundant supply of fish food. The convergence of cold polar current with the warm North Atlantic current helps in the growth of abundant phytoplanktons. The cool climate in this region helps in the preservation of fishes. Besides, there are numerous port facilities for export and import. The Northeast Pacific region stretches from Alaska to California. It is the fourth largest fish producing regions on the earth and accounts for 7% of the global fish catch. The major fish varieties are salmon, tuna and herring. The convergence of warm Pacific current with cold Alaskan current creates very good atmosphere for the growth of planktons in this region. Besides the cooler temperature that favors the preservation of fishes, lack of fertile agricultural land in Alaska and Canada are another major reason for the development of more fishing industries in these areas. There is a consistent demand of fish as a protein source and as a raw material to different industries. The temperate fishing grounds of southern hemisphere has attained a massive growth in recent years. Among the top five fish producing countries, Peru and Chile stands in second and fourth position from southern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere fishing grounds are again considered under two separate songs, the Southeast Pacific region and the Southeast Atlantic region. 
the south east pacific region accounts for 15% of the global fish production the humboldt current in chile and the peruvian coast is one of the richest marine ecosystem on the earth and this enabled the growth of fishes these areas has one of the highest diversity of phytoplankton and zooplankton the cool climate helps in the preservation facilities the southeast atlantic region extends from angola to south africa it accounts for 6% of the global production the wide expanse of shallow continental shelf the convergence of cold benagula and warm agulhas current the temperate climate that helps in the preservation of fishes and the availability of planktons and growing internal demands are the factors that are responsible for the growth of fishing industry now let's look into the tropical fishing grounds of the world the tropical fishing grounds are generally confined within the tropical areas that is between 30 degree north and south of the equator the major fish producing countries are china indonesia india thailand and sri lanka however these regions has less developed fishing industry let's look into what are the disadvantages of tropical fishing there are various factors responsible for the underdevelopment of fishing industry in tropical areas these are the lack of plankton we know that the tropical asia or oceans are generally very hot in nature and this is not suitable for the growth of plankton as the fish concentration is primarily dependent on the abundance of plankton these areas lacks the resources high temperature always makes us difficult to preserve the fishes for export besides variety of species especially more are toxic in nature or which are not edible are more abundantly found in tropical areas the narrow continental shelf or the regions that do not provide natural breeding grounds of fishes will makes the fish resorts devoid in these regions the speedy transport of perishable fish is a prime factor for the growth of fishing industry due to its under development in the economy and inaccessibility of the nature of terrain transportation in tropical areas are very difficult so let's look into what are the recent developments of tropical fishing despite all these obstacles the tropical fishing in recent years have undergone a drastic change and there is more production rather than the last few years there is a high and internal demand which is considered to be the most important thing that increased the fish production in tropical areas tropical region was almost unexploited till recently so abundance of good quality new species of fishes provokes the people to exploit these untapped resources besides due to the growing unemployment and lack of alternative occupation people started venturing in fishing activities so friends i hope you have enjoyed today's session for any queries or suggestions please post in the comment box or through the atmodo thank you and i wish you a wonderful day